hey man, going into next season, there's going to be a lot of work to be done for the Colts because if you want to be a contender and con and stay to be a contender, you got to fix the bad habits, man. And one of those bad habits I think we all know is the pass coverage, man. The pass coverage for the Indianapolis Colts is not the best. Um, I definitely think we had some holes for sure last year, as we all can tell. Of course, you guys are going to blame the Rocky Sins of the world or, you know, the deep passes or the Xavier Rhodes not being consistent enough on the field because he goes on and off the field a lot. Um, you know, the TJ Currys when he comes in. Even the safeties. The safeties get beat sometimes in coverage um, and things like that nature. But, you know, we all know that the zone coverage has to be fixed going into next season. Now, this is no thing wrong with the scheme because we know the pass rush is the biggest thing when it comes to zone defenses. The pass rush has to be there for the zone defense to actually be successful. And that's one of the things that some people don't seem to, un well, for some fans, they don't understand, or well, they might not know at all, is that the pass rush is some of the biggest, is the biggest thing for a zone defense to be successful because you want to get that quarterback to be rushed on every circumstance, to be forced to throw bad passes and if a, a corner or a safety or a linebacker is in a perfect spot or in that area where the football may land, they have a better chance to actually swat it or to catch an interception. Last year, we did not have pass rush, so that relied on our pass coverage to get smoked and dotted up a lot. A lot of teams last year figured our defenses out way too often and early in, in games where we would just, you know, we would just disappear in moments. And I think the pass coverage, due to the pass rush not being there, really caused us to lose a lot of games or, you know, have a lot of bad drives in certain matchups. Um, you know, and it's just unfortunate. And I think if we actually, you know, seem to get the pass rush that we are asking for next year, if we get that, I know our pass coverage will be way better than what it was last year. Now, of course, you guys may go into the mention of losing Anthony Walker, who is a big piece going into the defense next season. You know, we lost him to the Cleveland Browns, but we do still have a good linebacker core. It's not the greatest, but I think it'll be as good as we did have with Anthony Walker. Because if we're being uh, if we're being honest, Anthony Walker Jr. was seeing, was seeing lap, limited snaps last year. He was seeing limited snaps due to Bobby Okereke already taking that role. He was using he was uh, being used in majority of the plays already. So replacing him won't really be a big issue, but we are missing some of the things that he did bring. Anthony Walker was a very good tackler, um, but, you know, Bobby Ogariki is more of that coverage style type of linebacker. So uh, that's one thing Anthony Walker Jr. really wasn't. So I think switching that out will help this defense even more going into the next season with the pass rush, you know, being added. You know, even though we lose, we're losing uh, people like Danico Autry of that nature, um, you know, we're, coming, we're bringing Teray back. Therese uh supposed to be healthy next season. Uh, you know, we, we drafted Quiddy Pay. We bought we got Rochelle, a bunch of pass rush. We have a lot of pass rush on the roster. Uh Tycorn Lewis, we still got Grover Stewart, he's uh prospering, the fourth Buckner. We got a lot of talent on this team. The fact is, is who we're gonna use and what are we gonna use? What type of style scheme are we gonna be drawing up for the pass coverage to be successful next season? Because we have a long a very long road ahead next year. Um, the beginning of the season is going to be very tough for the Colts. So we're going to have to figure it out at any point uh, how we're going to get this thing adjusted. Now, this is not uh, no knock on last year because we've really had some good shining moments as well. When the rush was, when the rush did get there, we've seen some successes, a lot of interceptions, or even in zone in general when the pass rusher was there. Some of the coverages that we did design were really good enough to get the uh, the defense moving. Um, you know, some games like the Texans, for example, um, the Texans was really dotting us up that game because the pass rush wasn't there. So our, our pass coverage was not looking good against the Texans in both meetings. The Jaguars game for uh, the first game, um, even the second game, I would say, uh, both games, the pass rush did not look good. Um, well, the pass coverage, I'm sorry. The pass coverage did not look good. Uh, I would say one of the Tennessee games, um, it didn't look good, uh, but uh, the Packers game at the beginning, I will use that as an example as well, even though we did turn it up a notch in the second half. But, you know, some of our games relied on big plays. 
in the middle of the game. It relied on big plays, and you know it was it was tough. It's tough to be a fan when you see your pass coverage just get beat up uh, by mid tier quarterbacks or even you know elite quarterbacks because elite quarterbacks can know the design of a defensive scheme in the blink of an eye. And in fact, if we don't change it up by throwing in some man coverages, by just sitting in zone all day and waiting on pass rush to get there that we don't have, it's going to be a very long season. And next year, we're going against more elite talent than what we did the previous year. So we're going to need the pass rush to help the zone coverage because that's all we all know. We got the same coordinator and we know that's the scheme he's going to run. So it's going to be a very, very long year for the Colts if we do not adjust the coverage. Um, adjusting the coverage, uh, like I said, more man schemes because we have the corners to do so. We have corners that don't see the field at all uh, when it comes to defense, but we see some on special teams or, you know, if someone is uh, durability-wise for depth, we don't, we don't. that's when we'll see a corner. Uh, like for Xavier Rhodes, uh, the, uh, the Buffalo Bills game, you know, him, Rhodes and Kerry was pretty much going in and out. And then Isaiah Rodgers, when Rose went down, stepped in. And Rodgers really shown that he can be used at the corner position more. And when you're going into next season, you're wondering, should we use Isaiah Rodgers more? We got Marvell Tell coming back from injury. Well, being from redshirted. We got, we got Marvell Tell coming back. Should we use him more? It's so much depth on this roster that we don't use due to our scheme that, you know, it's kind of unfortunate for these players. Uh, I think I think you know adding more corners in for certain for certain certain plays when you're playing certain teams going into next season they're going to have four wide receiver uh, matchup uh, formations four wide receiver formations five wide receiver formations even three depending on the team that we play when they have three wide receivers we got to have a certain scheme where it's going to be good enough to stop the pass to stop the passing um, the pass completions. And, you know, have that pass rush go get them. We got to have some schemes drawn up to have a good enough pass rush and a good enough coverage when it comes to either man or zone that we got to have it figured out before the next season comes. So, uh, like I said, the passing coverage has to be adjusted. The passing game has to be adjusted, man. Um, like, I, I love the zone scheme that we, we do have. But like I said, if the pass rush isn't there, it's going to be a very long, another long season for the Colts. Um, plain and simple like the pass rush isn't promised we got it there um, on the paper like we have it but you know we got to go out we still have to go out there and produce it's going to be a long season if we don't and I know it's going to be rough at the beginning uh, like we said we got rookie quitty pay we got Teray that's you know proved himself a little bit but you know he's still untapped potential uh, like I don't know how the rotation is going to be looking next season but if we get it figured out you know then the pat the the pass coverage you know I won't worry about but it's the fact that it's untapped potential and we have to adjust these things before the season starts. But let me know your thoughts on the passing coverage, uh, how good it is, how bad it is, what you think we should do to fix it going into next season because it's going to be a tough schedule. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This is Marcus, and until next time, you've been Culture Shock.